hello thanks for watching this vlog i've had a few new followers so i just want to say hello uh i'm mrs bertimus i have a small creative business um and i paint and uh, do digital artwork and bits and bobs and drawing and collage and things like that um so thanks thanks ever so much oh squeaky chair he'll get used to that as well um so thanks ever so much if you've um just joined us um this is future me this video uh is really about uh my christmas cards so today i'm going to have to i've got to jazz up my photos because i don't think the photos for these this year's christmas card um well christmas story card i don't think they look very christmassy compared to my other Christmas cards. So I'm gonna see if I can sprinkle a little bit of Christmas magic. I'm not the best product photographer, uh, I must admit, but I'm gonna have a go at that this morning. So this vlog's a bit jumbled up anyway. Yeah, sorry. So I'm gonna do that this morning. Um, and also you'll see me uh, getting my, oh, sorry, I just thought I saw a spider then. Um, oh no, this vlog. Anyway, yeah, so you're gonna see me getting 2024's calendar up and running that was a little while ago sorry about that um i am photographing these with a little bit more christmas zhuzh in a minute so i'll take you along for that um and then you'll see a little bit of me painting in the studio so i now hire a studio space and i go down there two or three times a week to do some painting i absolutely love it i needed i needed to get out the house basically i needed to get out the house i was going a little bit stir crazy and i needed i've realized that i really needed some structure i'm obviously so used to timetables and everything after teaching uh, for 30 odd years uh, that I, I i desperately needed a routine i thought i was this free and easy bright and breezy free spirit that, that didn't work that didn't work um so I go to the studio a couple of times a week. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. And so soon I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do the next vlog as soon as I can um, to show you a bit more about the other things I've been doing. And then really what I'm doing now is concentrating on my painting. I've got space, I've got time, I've got this kind of area in my calendar. I've worked really hard to clear a few months in my calendar i've gifted myself some time i'm calling it the selfish time <laughs> anyway this is the most rambly ridiculous introduction to a vlog i'm really sorry there's just so much happening i can't do it in chronological order you can see this big bad boy canvas waiting for me soon as well that'll be for another vlog oh my god i've got so many vlogs to make Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to have to photograph these now. So I'm going to take you along with me, photograph these. Um, but yeah, please, please suspend your uh, kind of time, sense of time, chronological belief, because this vlog is a bit bits and bobs all over the place. So apologies, but you know how I roll. You know how I roll. Okay. Start the BT, or whatever they say. I don't know. I'm shutting up now. Bye. Just started working on my Christmas card design. I like to do a story to go with it as well, and I think it, a little story is kind of forming in my head. Um, but just this is based from an original kind of painted paper collage cutout piece that I made um, and hand painted the face. Um, you can see details like with the lace that I've included in the original collage and then um, I'm now working on it um, on the Procreate and just building up textures and layers which I really love doing and just doing stuff like this just makes me happy <laughs> I, I just I, I am still astounded by the magic of Procreate incredible I love it oh that's the tumble dryer 
hope you don't mind me saying, but I'm absolutely thrilled with the quality of my calendars this year. The paper is a lovely matte finish. It's got a real nice quality to it, real nice feel to it. It's not plasticky or anything like that. Um, and the print quality, the colours have come out so nicely. The, the kind of colours and the, the blacks are really rich and the detail look has come out perfectly. I'm also really pleased with how clean and contemporary the, the style is for you know the page for you to write all your important appointments and bits and bobs things like that in but I just wanted to give you a little flick through, a little tour, a little tour of the calendar this year. <laughs> I absolutely love putting a calendar together. It kind of, it gives me a chance to review past work and to think which ones fit with different seasons. I, I do kind of think when I work, it's quite seasonal in a way. I think it's because I live in a village and I'm surrounded by uh, the countryside and so the changing seasons and the colours and the things that I see, you know, when I go take the dog out, things like that, just seep in without, without me realising. And then when I reflect back, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I can see, you know, winter in that or a bit of spring. Um, so I just wanted to show you through, and that's this year's new Christmas card. So you have a nice big picture of it. And then at the back, two handy pages for notes. Back to the back page with all the images. So I hope you don't mind me sharing. Um, I don't, I don't kind of like going. Oh, look at this! I'm really pleased with this, but. I'm really pleased with this. <laughs> so I just wanted to share, if that's okay. <laughs> I've had real fun this year getting all the Christmas bits together for the shop. And this little reel I made for Instagram, um, and I also forgot to film it, the kind of way I should use my camera for the vlog. So I'm sorry if it looks a bit skinny. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed making it and uh, if you want to see it with the music, just pop over to my Instagram because I can't work out how to do it here. <laughs> Hope you like it. Hmm. Quite like this setup with the trees. I think the baubles were a bit too much and I want it to look kind of rustic and folklore-y, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'll try that. I'll carry on with that. Actually, I'm quite pleased with this in, with the white tree. I've used it with a kind of portrait setting on my iPhone so the white tree is a bit blurry on the photos that I've taken. So I'll show you those in a minute and um, yeah, I might use I might use some for my shop and some for socials. I might use this for socials. Yeah, I actually thought that job was gonna be a right pain, but it was okay. Um I think I think what I've always got to remember when it comes to photographing uh, my products is keep it simple. I always get too many props and shiny things. <laughs> keep it simple, Letitia. Just remember that. So, yeah, I'll pop the photos up here if I can. Maybe up here. Can I do that? I don't know. I'll try and do that and then you can have a look at them. So, here I am back at the studio and I don't know why I didn't film starting this painting. I was so excited to start it and I just kind of went Phew. And the first day she appeared so quickly. Uh, but now, as you can see me shaking my fist in a dramatic fashion, <laughs> now I'm left with this area, which is really unresolved and just kind of flapping around and her dress. I knew her dress shape was wrong. So even though I really love starting a painting without a plan, in fact, for me, I don't know why it, for the past few years, it's the only way I can start a painting. Um, but obviously further down the line, it causes problems because I have to 
kind of solve any composition design problems as I'm painting. But I do enjoy solving the puzzle. I do enjoy working out which areas I've got to get rid of, which areas I want to keep and how to balance it. So I, I generally like to make life difficult for myself, I think. <laughs> So this is the stage now where I'm really grappling, getting different ideas, trying things out. Um, I've used tracing paper. I don't always use tracing paper, but this time I've, I've kind of gone quite far with the painting. So I didn't want to just start chucking paint around and maybe, you know, get rid of bits that I wanted to keep. So I had an idea of her maybe having a wing. Um, quite like that idea for a future painting, but I did ditch it. So now I'm just really trying to balance the main shapes and blocks in the composition. Um, I decided on the dress shape. I felt much happier with that. It kind of gave a sense of weight at the bottom. Um, and now I'm just going to have to I, I quickly block in some, some shapes and colours just so that I can see if the composition is going to work. Um, looking back, that's a bit of a bold choice of colour. <laughs> Friday, back at the studio today, and these two are waiting for me. I think he's finished. This one, she's giving me a bit of trouble, but I'm gonna work on a dress today. I think I need to tone down the color, but I think I've got the right color. I just need to tone it down. I think I'll put a glaze on it and desaturate it a little bit. It's a bit zingy at the minute. Um, and then, I have an idea for a dress. I think I want to incorporate trees. I'm really pleased with this abstracted tree. This is something kind of new, I think, coming through, where I don't want it to be quite so neat and I wanted some looseness. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. This is the first layer showing through and then I've overpainted to project this a little bit further forward. I'm also happy with this shape i'm really into wonky shapes at the minute <laughs> i'm loving the wonky um yeah and i think this needs balancing this might become a tree quite like the idea of because it's really loose um and as i say a bit wonky donkey i think it needs a bit of symmetry just to kind of hold it in place so i think i'm going to put another tree tree trunk there I think who knows probably end up turning into a parrot or something by this afternoon but anyway <laughs> quite I am quite pleased with the face and these colors this section I'm quite pleased with this needs sorted let's go back to that section <laughs> well it's Tuesday I'm in the studio and this little lady has gone through many, many changes, but I'm quite pleased. I had to knock some areas back. I'm quite pleased with this. I like how that's starting to look like the root. That was a bit fluky, but I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to try and paint in this kind of abstracted tree trunk now because I wanted some symmetry because a lot of this is very loose. It needed a bit of structure. So, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> um, but this vlog is about me um, trying to, oh that's rubbish, hello, um, this is future me, um, in... no there's too many, hello, thanks for coming, no, 